What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologize uh, for not dropping a video at all last week. Between the six days of monsoons and the sinus infection, I just wasn't able to get to it. That doesn't mean I haven't been doing things. I just finished mowing and I am sweating like a... Oh, 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 oh. Fat boy, funny because he's fat. <laughs> oh, uh, just letting you guys know that I've been busy and there is some pretty good content coming. I am going to be having a conversation with Josh from the Modern Frontiersman. I'm going to be talking to him today. That's going to be a video coming out soon. Hopefully, by the time you're seeing this, it will be coming out this Thursday from today's video. Kind of working on a new format where we have the kitty tactical, theoretical conversations and exploring stuff on Tuesdays in a short form. And by short form, I mean 15 minutes-ish. And then on Thursdays, we have the long format where we're talking about stuff. Wouldn't be a cool guy video if I wasn't showing off some of the kits, right? So I've just been working on the taps. Uh, I'm keeping this in the vehicle. I've got a full I back in here with a tourniquet. I can put two mags in here, two mags in here, that's four. I've got two here, that's six, but I can add on two more, that's eight. Then I have, it's an IFAC pouch, but it'll be a GP. I can still add on water on either side, but I am going to be hooking the war belt up with this. So realistically, if I'm running for something besides my pistol that I'm EDCing in the vehicle, I'm probably going to be going like this. I've got gloves, I've got the pistol, I've got a marker for should I need to t apply the tourniquet, which is in my pocket. We'll get there. I have a canteen. I have an IFAC with another tourniquet, and that's a full IFAC. And then I have a dump pouch that's going to be going right here. Then I'll have two mags, two mags. I feel like for most stuff in and around like my job or the vehicle going back and forth to work, should I need it? This is what I'm going for first. Then should I need to plus up, we go to this setup with the taps. For the sake of YouTube, this is a 19 round magazine. We are clear. Amber. I can throw on the taps and get two, four, six, eight more mags added on to it with another IFAC, more GP, my knife, I can put extra canteens on. That gives me like three liters of water. And then if I throw on the 24 hour bag, I'm at uh, about a gallon and a half of water. Plenty of mags, cause there's like six mags in that plus a day's worth of food and all that shit. So this is setup that I'd be running in the vehicle and at work. Uh, I am working on incorporating some suspenders into this. We just haven't got there yet. There's, I'm not trying to make this like a show you all my rigs and always make it about rigs and like I'm showing off or whatever, or that that should be the thing that we as prepared citizens need to be focusing on is just the gear. However, it is important to get the gear out there to give you ideas. I have had some guys like Double uh, XL Dude and Coyote Six ask me for some rig videos. I'm gonna tag you guys in the comments and try to pin you up here. So there you go, that was for you. That was my quick down and dirty mill serp rig that I run. I think the taps is phenomenal for a beginner who is try who can easily plus up and it's perfect for a grab and go for that minute man situation. That said, I have been teasing some pictures in a couple of places of this rig here. Uh, I'm not quite ready to talk about it yet. However, once I get this figured out completely, I'll be premiering the Larperator rig. Uh, it is going to be a custom rig made by yours truly. Yeah, the fat guy. I'm going to make a video as I'm doing it to show you how, how to do it because I'm not trying 
to make money off of this. I'm trying to show you how you can do it on the cheap and save you some money. Uh, but at the same time, I am going to make several rigs, different colors, uh, set up similarly. It is going to be a hybrid. I, that's all I'm getting into right now. I don't, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I do have something working, uh, like an in-depth video on how you can do something really bitching. I guess because I've got stuff planned for later and I'm still trying to get caught up on shit around the homestead thing. Uh, I'm just, just trying to shoot a really quick video, let you guys know what's coming up, let you guys know how I'm doing. I appreciate you guys. We had a killer month in July. Taking off last week did hurt the channel growth. However, the main guys who have been around, who are steady giving me uh, inspiration and, and stuff in the comments and just sticking around, I really appreciate you guys. There's been a lot of interaction going on. There has been some uh, some shit going on in the gram. If you know, you know. I'm not going to say anything about it. Um, guys, we got to we gotta be better than the people that oppose us. Uh, we have to have a strong work ethic and high moral fiber and be the type of person to call someone out on their bullshit, but also not get super offended by people when they call you out on your bullshit. That's as far as I'm going to go into that. I'm just saying we have to make sure that if we're going to be in this position to say we need a change, we need a better society, and this is what we expect things to be, we have to set the standard. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm not... That's all I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. While you're down there, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray. I'm not rushing to get to the thousand subscribers just so I can like turn on stuff or start a Patreon. It would help the channel grow a little bit faster, but I feel like if I can get this rig set up and I can start selling it, then that would be a good way that you can support the channel if you want to. Not that I'm saying that the guys who do that are wrong. It's, you know, once I get there, I plan on doing it too. So I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I'm just saying I'm trying to work my way there. I appreciate your guys' support in getting me there. It's because you guys that I keep doing this. Well, it's partially because you guys I'm doing this. I, that might sound like a slide. I didn't mean it that way. But this is also for me to document the journey that I'm on and you guys are pushing me to do better so till next time guys make sure you stay ready so when the time comes you ain't got to get ready uh we i will be unrolling or i will i, I will